today today we're going to look at making an intro for your YouTube videos or you know in Camtasia make an intro for any videos not necessarily just YouTube you'll see here right away my clip bin I'm not going to go through all the processes of making the images but I made my images I made them roughly 300 by 300 pixels and my logo I have here is 1123 by 198 pixels and I got some audio just to show you where I got my audio at YouTube has a great selection of free audio if you log into your YouTube account click on create and you have audio library here and there's just you can get it by genre mood instrument duration just all kinds of music so just go through and find your little clip that you want to have a uh, in yours and mine's called not too cray so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the audio down I'm going to lay the audio track down and then I'm going to lay the logo track down And we'll test it out here. So that was... Okay, I'm going to want this to be about 10 seconds long, so I'm going to drag my player head to the 10 second mark. That's 13 there, right? It's 11, 10... And if you have trouble zeroing in, you can always increase like that. It makes it a little easier to see. So I got mine at 10 second mark. That's how long I wanted to, my intro to be. So I'm going to start. It's not going to look exactly like the one I made at the beginning of this video because frankly I don't remember what transitions I used. But we're just going to play with this and have a little fun. Okay. So I'm going to throw down, let's see, let's throw down the illustrator. And that's running. We'll have it run the full length too. Actually, we're going to start it a little late. So we're going to start it at about. Let's put the player head on one. And let me see. One second there. Uh, good enough. And we're going to move this. And as you can see, 300 by 300 pixels is too much. So I'm just going to control alt, shrink it from the center. Stick it about right there. And let's see what we want next. We want, now let's do Dreamweaver next. And we'll move it up here. Again, I want to hold Shift Alt so I can resize it from the center. And let's put Photoshop next. We're going to need to uh, bring this out to the end. And we'll bring down Photoshop. And we'll stagger it a little bit, bring it out to the end. And get it lined up where I want it, roughly. Again, Shift Alt. So I drag it from the center. And let me see what we're going to bring next. What we got left. We got WordPress. Let's bring WordPress in. And that one's going to go to the end. And let's go ahead and shift. Whoops, too small. Bring it about right there. And, uh, see what we got we got HTML5 we'll stagger it bring it to the end and shift all we'll bring it about right there and we have CSS3 we'll bring it stagger it we're yet to the end. Oh, we already did it. <laughs> Whoops. All right. There it is. And from the center there again with a, a 
that was too small. Open that up a little bit. And finally we have dot net nuke. So let's bring it in, stagger it a little bit. Let's go ahead and shift alt. Drag from the center. So roughly that's what the original intro looks like. Maybe this can come up a little bit. Maybe the DNN can be a little bit bigger. Alright. So let's look at the first 10 seconds of it. Let's go back to the beginning. See where we're at. And that's the sound that I wanted was right about there. So I'm going to go ahead and clip. See, let's do this right here. I'm going to click on my soundtrack and highlight it. And then I'm going to use my splitter there. And I'm going to delete this part because I don't need that part. That's like actually right about where I want it, right? There we go. And we're going to do a fade out on that sound. So let's bring that back down here. Let's do a fade out on the sound audio. And we're going to fade out just like that. All right. So now let's play with some transitions. Transitions are really cool stuff you can do. Now, you can put a transition on either end of the track that you want. So, let's start with a... What is the name of that one I was thinking of? The Ripple. Let's start with the Ripple. We'll put the Ripple on this end. See what it looks like. So, let's go back to zero. Now, actually, we're not doing it on the, uh, so let's hit that. You can click it. If you put your transition in the wrong spot, just click right on it and hit delete. We don't want to, we don't want to rip on my logo. We want it right there on the first one. So let's see what that's looking like. All right. That's looking pretty good. So let's see, uh, what else can we use? Let's see what radial blur looks like. go and there is a where is that one I was looking for let's try blinds see see what that looks like on the Photoshop oh. there we go and let's uh, see about what flip will do. For WordPress. Okay. And let's get, uh, let's see what circle stretch will do for the HTML. Pretty cool. And let's see what checkerboard will do. Oops. That's pretty neat. And let's do a slide. Where's the slide at? Let's do the slide left, I think, for the last one here. And that's how you make a nice intro. And then all after that, you just produce and share. And you, once you got to produce and share, you would drag it into your clip bin with whatever video you're making. And, you know, put it where you want it at. And that's really all there is to it. 
For more uh, graphic web and graphic design video tutorials, you can get it at my website. Uh, there's many of which are not here on YouTube, but they are free. And if this video has helped you, how about give me a like, a share, uh, subscribe, or a comment. I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good day.